Hello friends, welcome to C Tech Crypto. Last couple of videos that we posted regarding LPM mining has gone viral in YouTube, and there were many requests to make the videos in English. So I decided to post the complete setup in English one more time. We are going to see them in two parts. First part of the video will cover how to run full node, how to create your mining wallet address, and then how to do solo mining. And second part of the video will cover. how to do pool mining in windows as well as high os even if you are doing pool mining i'll advise you to watch both the videos because for pool mining we need four wallet address for configuration so that requires you to complete full node setup which we are going to cover in the first part of video so i would recommend you to not to skip both the videos before beginning the setup if you are here for the first time please subscribe our channel and click on the notification button Before beginning the setup I want to quickly say few words about Alipium. Alipium is currently using Blackflow algorithm and the team believes that sharding plus proof of work is still most robust and decentralized way to build a scalable blockchain. So they introduced a new blockchain protocol that is scalable based on proof of work and UTXO model to achieve the scalability and consensus at the same time. The token supply of Alipium is 1 billion out of which 140 million coins were mined at Genesis block. Out of this 140 million coins 80 million were allocated for sales with a vesting period of 2 to 4 years. and 30 million token for community development and 30 million to support future development of alipium and these 30 plus 30 60 million tokens also comes with a vesting period of 3 to 4 years and remaining 860 million coins are mining rewards each block produces 3.1 alipium coins and the same will be locked for 500 minutes meaning You cannot transfer the rewards to different wallet address for almost eight hours. Alipium coin is already listed in Gate.io exchange last week and currently trading for one dollar and twenty cents. Currently, Alipium is one of the best coin to mine for Nvidia card holders. And at the time of posting this video, the reward you are getting is better than Ethereum mining. Okay, now let's begin the setup, and I'm going to refer this GPU miner guy to do the full setup. And this link is available in the description below. You can also refer them to do your setup. So first step that we are going to do is we need to run the full node. To run the full node, just click on this full node. Start Guy and open it in a new tab. So the first recommend is like now we need to have Java version 11 or 17 installed in our machine. So to check whether we have Java installed in our machine, open the command prompt. Type Java hyphen version here, and you will see your version installed in your machine. If you don't see any version installed in your machine, then go to Google. Type JDK. 17 and you will get the oracle.com official site click on this link and get the latest version of jdk if you are working on a windows machine just get the windows installer just click on this link you will get the exe file downloaded once it is downloaded just double click on them and then the installation will begin okay so the installation is com completed successfully now just close them and again open cmd type java hyphen version and you will see the latest version is installed in our machine so now we have java latest version is installed in our machine so next step is to download the java file to run the full node so to download the java file just click on this github release page and here just download the latest version of the java file so i have already downloaded and placed them in my folder so make sure to create a separate folder and keep all your mining related files over there so once the file is downloaded just go to that folder and type cmd over here so the command prompt will automatically open the path where you have this file so the next step is we need to start your node and to start the node we just need to start this jar file command just copy this command and make sure your version is correct so we downloaded 1.2.2 But if you are downloading 1.2.3 or 2.4, whatever the version that you are downloading, make sure to change that version number here. So now just copy this entire command and paste it over here and click enter button. The very first time you will get this Windows security alert. Just click allow access and then your full node process will begin. The very first time it will take lot of time to complete the full node sync up. So to make sure the node is fully synced, just check the height. So if you see here the height is 92,706. Make sure this height and the latest height in the explorer is same. To check that, just go here and here is the block explorer. Just open this in new window. Looks like the height that we are seeing is 92709. So the latest height is also 92709 which means the node is in full sync at this moment so if you are doing this for a first time it will take at least like 40 to 50 minutes it depends on your cpu speed so if you are having high end processor then probably like it will just take 10 to 15 minutes to like you know fully sync if your processor is like the pretty old then probably like it will take at least 60 to 90 minutes to fully sync with the 
latest block. So the next step is to create a valid address. So for that, like you know, come to this vlogger section and click on this link over here. And this page will not open if your node is not fully synced. So make sure the node is fully synced first and then open this page. Otherwise, you will see an error on this page. So the next step is we are going to create valets for our mining. So to create a valet, just click on this post valet, create new valet option. And inside here on the examples, just click miner without fast price when you click on this like you will get this values here and here we are just going to give the password for our wallet i'm just going to use one two three four five wallet name i'm just keeping demo wallet but when you are creating like make sure you have a meaningful wallet name and password and click execute the moment you click execute you will get a server response 200 if you are getting 200 response then your wallet creation is successful and you will get the mnemonic seed over here and you can see that 24 words mnemonic seed all you need to do is either just click copy or just download this and if you see here you can see the mnemonic seed for your wallet so these seeds are really important so make sure to keep it in a secure place if you lost it you cannot get your wallet back next step is we are going to create the wallet address so to create your wallet address just come here get wallet wallet name addresses just click on this option and here just you need to provide your wallet name that we created and then just click execute so the moment you click execute again you will get a server response and in the response body you can see the valid addresses and you will see four valid address here group 0 group 1 group 2 and group 3 and all these four valid addresses are really important for your mining again click on this download button and make sure to keep it in a secure place so we got the valid address for mining so before moving into that mining process i would like to show a few more options over here so let's say you started mining and you found some blocks so to check your balance come to this place get valid balances get your total balance just click on this place and then give your valid name type execute and here you will see the total balances and uh, each valid address balance so you have four wallets that you created right so each valid address will have their own balance so if you want to transfer that balance to your exchange wallet or a different wallet so if you see here post wallet transfer so click on this option again give your wallet name and over here you just have to like you know replace the wallet address where you want to transfer your balance and in this place what you just have to mention what is the amount of albium that you want to transfer if you want to transfer one albium which means like you just have to enter these many values make sure to enter this value just say like you, know, you have four lpm you just have to like you know, just replace that with four so after entering them just click on execute it will automatically transfer the lpm to that address and one more thing remember the moment you find the block you cannot transfer the balance to a different address because there is a lock-in period which is 500 minutes which is almost eight hours you have to like wait for that eight hours to complete and then you can transfer before completing that 500 minutes window if you try to like transfer that balance to a different wallet, then you will get a bad request response. So make sure you wait for eight hours before transferring that reward that you got from the block. So the next step is we need to configure the minor address. Just come to this section, copy this information and no need to copy the first sentence and go to your C drive, go to users and open the folder which contains your name and you will see dot alipium and dot alipium ballots. And you just have to like click on this dot alipium folder and here you will see this user configuration file. Just click on this file it will be an empty file you just have to paste it over here so whatever you have copied from that page you just have to paste it here and if you look at this these are the valid address so we just have to replace the valid address that we created from that swagger api so what we have to do is we just have to copy this valid address and paste it in this user configuration file make sure to paste them in the same order Okay, now we have configured the user configuration file with the four valid address that we have downloaded. So just click save and close this file. Okay, now the configuration is completed. So the next step is to restart our node. So the node is already running, right? We just have to like close this and then restart the node so that whatever the configuration that we made in that user configuration file will take effect. So for that, just go back to that folder where you have this LPM jar. Again, launch CMD and then run that command. So all the configuration that we made at this moment will take effect from here. So now the full node is in sync and we have created the wallet and configuration is done. Next step, which is the last step is to start the mining process. So for that, just come to this section, click on the link. Uh, if you are having like Nvidia GPU, go to this link and download the miner. If you are having like AMD GPU, go to this link and download the miner. Since I have Nvidia GPU, I'll just go to this link and go to pre-built miner. 
and click on this github release page and download the latest miner from this path and i'll download the windows exe file and if you are using linux you can just download it from here have them in the folder where you have your mining files better to maintain everything in one place and uh, as i said like you know, if you are using amd gpu just go to this link and go to pre-built miner and go to this github release page and get the latest miner which is 2.0 at this moment 0.2.0 at this moment and get the latest miner at the time of seeing this video okay so now we have the minor file all we need to do is just double click on this and your mining process will be started okay you can see here the mining process is started and it is connected successfully to that broker and it started submitting the hash reach to the network okay friends the setup has completed now and mining is going very well rest of the guide will talk about wallet related functionality which we have already covered one more thing is make sure to run this full node parallelly do not close them when the solo mining is happening as i already mentioned in the beginning of the video a separate video will be posted soon for pool mining in windows and ios i hope you enjoyed watching this video if you really like this video please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe see flat crypto Thank you all. Happy mining.